Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, I have this extremely filthy and neglected car to clean. It's actually owned by my brother. This is his sort of like family run around. Um, and yeah, he said it's been around two years since he washed it. And other than that, um, it gets washed when it gets service. And we all know how good those washes can be. So I'm gonna say it's been at least a year since this car was actually washed. And yeah, you can sort of tell if you look closely at it, especially the wheels. So that gives us a good opportunity to try out a new product. So the guys at Car Care Products actually sent this one out to me as well as a few other products to try out. Um, and I did actually previously use this. So I tried to film this video on my car, but thing is my wheels weren't very dirty. So it wasn't really the best sort of uh, video to show what this product can do. So I figured if I'm gonna be doing his car, maybe I'll hold the video and I'll refilm it and yeah, reuse this stuff. So it's not full. I have used a decent amount because I was trying to really get a good reaction because this is a color changing wheel cleaner. So like an iron uh, fallout remover. So yeah, this one, as you can see, is from Next Set. Um, it is, I'm sure how to pronounce all of the names on it, but yeah, it's their ColorTech wheel cleaner. Um, so yeah, I have already used it, like I said, um, and I was pretty impressed by it, but it was on pretty clean wheels. So I wanna see what it's gonna do to these. So if you come in close, you can see these are absolutely disgusting. And yeah, it's, um, don't think the wheel wells, like the inside of the wheels um, have been cleaned. And yeah, we'll also clean up um, yeah, the guard lining and everything for him. But let's see what this will do. So on this side, um, we'll spray it on and we'll work it in using a variety of wheel cleaning brushes um, and see what it can do. But then what I'll do is after we rinse that off, we'll go around to the other side of the car and we'll just do a simple spray on and let it dwell and then rinse off without agitating and see how well of a job it can do. Now, I would not expect it to get these to a completely clean standard without agitation, but it's gonna be interesting. So yeah, this is what we're doing today. So again, massive shout out to the guys at Car Care Products for sending me this and the few other products they sent out. I'm really excited to be having companies sort of recognize um, the channel and yeah, wanting to sort of help out with supplies as well as um, yeah, sort of let me give you guys my thoughts on certain products. So yeah, this is not the only company that has reached out. So yeah, I'm really thankful for that, saving me spending so much money buying some products. But also it means a lot, it means people um, appreciate the videos and can see the value in them. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to be making videos like this. And yeah, with products that are good quality. Um, so yeah, this is um, next set, as you can see at the bottom, made in Germany. Um, been aware of this brand before, I've used their products previously, um, but never this one, until I obviously got sent this bottle and already tried it out, like I said, but, so if you'd like to pick some of this up, um, I'll have links in the description. It is actually really good value, $20 for this 500 ml bottle, and $99 for a five liter container. So yeah, pretty competitively priced, and as you'll see, it's quite potent stuff, very strong smell, I can already smell it before I've even sprayed it, um, but not as bad as I was sort of expecting. Um, but yeah, as all these types of wood cleaners always are, very strong smell. But let's go ahead and let's spray it on and see what it does. All right, so here we go. Test this stuff out. So, gonna be very thorough with it. Try and get up into the inside of the wheel as much as possible. That's, that's definitely plenty. Let's leave that to dwell and see how it looks. We can already see a lot of reaction on the brake rotor. But let's see what sort of happens and you can see just what's coming off and dripping down. But yeah, let's give that a minute or so to dwell and then we'll agitate it with some of these wheel brushes that we've got. Okay, so left that there for yeah, around a minute and a half and have a look at the reaction. These wheels were bad. Now, that is just picking up a lot. So, move the bottle aside. 
let's bring some wheel brushes in. So I've just got some car shampoo in there. And yeah, let's uh let's see what this will do. So you just got that reaction coming off. That is yeah, that is pretty gross. I don't even want to dunk this back into the bucket, so I'm actually going to rinse this off in a sec. Now we'll go with this easy detail brush. This is also from Car Care Products, but picked this one up uh, a while back when I was in store. But yeah, these are really good for getting in the tight spots, as you can see. Grab the pressure washer and see how this looks after a good rinse. So, how did it do? <laughs> yeah, don't think he's seen his wheels this clean in a long time. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's done very well. So, let's test. Clean. Clean. We're getting these little clean. So, yeah, nothing really coming off. Some tar. Um, build up on there, but I need a tar remover to get that off, but yeah, that obviously did an amazing job, and inside the barrels as well, all nice and silver again now, no longer black, um, so yeah, that's a crazy improvement, if I just come around to the other wheel, don't know if this one's actually worse or not, but yeah, that's basically what we started with, so... As you're after, uh, you before and after, so yeah, that's the after. Pretty impressive stuff. So, like I said, now I'm going to go over. I'm going to just try and spray on and rinse off. I don't think it's going to clean a wheel this dirty with that method, but let's give it a deal. Let's give it a go. See exactly what it can do. All right guys, a couple of minutes of dwelling and wow, that is quite the reaction. I need to get this rinse pretty quick because it's starting to dry. Actually what I can do is quickly spray a little bit more Just while, I'm, uh, while I'm talking, I don't want it to let it dry. But yeah, I mean, let's check that out. Never had a reaction this crazy. That just goes to show that I never clean wheels this dirty. Obviously, a lot of you guys watching this would be like thinking, how have you never had this type of reaction? Um, well, yeah, I'm generally just doing my own cars or friends and family cars, which are kept pretty clean. This one is the exception. And being a Euro car, it is pretty bad for brake dust. So, yeah, that is completely soaked in... Um, the product and has completely reacted as much as it can so let's go with our rinse touch free no agitation and see what this does
Okay, so you can see it has not cleaned. So you definitely need to agitate, but that is super soft now as before. This was all baked on. So I'll just grab my wheel bucket, bring it over. So you can just No real pressure or anything, just running the brush over it. Another rinse. So, you can see the face of the wheel is pretty clean now, um, but it needs needs agitation. So I will this dirty. Um, if you want, like, I mean, that is a massive improvement. Most people probably be happy with that, but obviously I want everywhere to be completely clean. Yeah. So yeah. pretty happy with this product. Um, I think it's like really well priced, to be honest. So I use way too much, as you guys saw. Um, you would not use that as much normally. So you probably, if you want to just try it out with the 500 mil bottle, uh, for twenty dollars, uh, it's quite good value, but five liters for one hundred dollars is actually really well priced. Um, and I'm considering picking up a five liter container of this because it works well. And a lot of people are saying it's probably the worst smelling one. Everyone smells things different, uh, different, but to me, it's really not that bad. It's got a. It's obviously they've tried to mask the smell a little bit. It's kind of got a sweet smell to it. It's definitely strong, but it's not the sour um, smell that some other wheel cleaners have had that I've used, but yeah, pretty happy with it. And as you can see, works amazingly. So yeah, if you guys want to pick some of this up, definitely head over to Car Care Products. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I'm sure they'd love to get some, some sales from the stuff they've sent me, but either way, um, yeah, if I didn't like the product, I'd tell you guys, but I really do like this. It's kind of hard to not like one of these wheel cleaners. Now I'm honest, I don't use these that often. I usually use um, sort of non um, iron removing wheel cleaners because my wheels are just kept clean. They're washed every week or every fortnight. They don't get this dirty, but if you're cleaning wheels that are actually really dirty like this, you're definitely gonna want a product like this. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend it. Um, links in description for both the 500 mil bottle and the one liter. So if you guys would like to grab some of those then just head down to the video description and you'll click those links and head over to Car Care Products. Uh, you can buy it online or you can buy it in store. They do have a few retail stores around the country. Um, but yeah, but that is going to be it for the video. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again to Car Care Products for sending this out to me to try. Um, but yes, I'll end it there. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, there's plenty more videos to come. So yeah, hopefully you guys are keen. But with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.